Hello and welcome to another episode of Factorio with me, Skies, where we are completing out our science array uh, for purple yellow. Our purple is functioning to a certain degree, and we are going to complete it out um, with our yellow yellow science pack. Um, and I know we need to do a lot of housekeeping as well to get our circuits flowing. Um, we are in very short supply of those. So we are busy over here. And we need to do the frames, which requires all of those ingredients for our circuits here. And we need to make those frames and low density st structures and blue circuits. So the blue <coughs> is going to come in there straight off the belt. Okay, so our frames are coming in. It's taking the stuff off these two lines here and it's going to put it on the inside track. So that means our robotic frame will need to come out on the side here. So we're going to start building that up and we're going to have the frames coming down this way, being made by our, some of our factories. Okay, these factories are going to have to be placed higher up. Um, let's just have a look. Frame. So this is all the stuff we need. So green circuits and the steel and the batteries, all of that is coming, these first three are coming directly from the line, but we need to produce the electric engines. Electric engines are normal engine units and some fluids and more green circuits. And if we go make normal engines, we need steel and gears. Okay, so that's going to require a lot of ingredients. These belts, yeah, so let's bring in. What I want to bring in is our first, our primary item, steel and batteries on this first line. Let's copy these. Put that in over here. So let's take width. This is a half, another half and half. And we want the batteries to come in over here. Batteries are Little batteries coming in. Once we have struggling with these rubber ports. They are not functioning very well. Do I have actually any on me? I do. I'll be busy elsewhere. That is what they are within that zone, construction zone, so they'll eventually get built out. Okay, and on this right hand belt here, we want to bring in. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a mess. Uh, okay, we'll have to bring it in on this, like that. Do a squiggle. Okay, here we are bringing in 
he is. While that is busy, we will start expanding up, and you are going to need... One of the things this needs is pipes, so we're going to put pipes on this st structure here. Okay, it's... And the pipes, there we go. Pipes need steel plates. Okay, so let's bring in steel plates. Yeah, so you're making pipes, you're making steel plates. Hey, okay, come on. This is going to be right from here. Let's do that. Okay. Steel plates, are you coming in? Manually. Same with these. Okay, so you need to grab off. And you are going to be put on that side of the belt, which means I need to make sure that what is coming in only comes in on a portion of the belt. That's yeah. Then do the engines. We need quite a few of these. I'm just going to take these items out now. Okay, so engines are going to require stuff from all the lines. So we're going to need a blue and a red, and we're going to need a power pole for all of that and we're going to be putting it out on this side we need a green so I'm going to have to bring green in here Oops, no. That. Oh, really taking their time putting this stuff together. Okay, we're going to bring out, let's just do share from two lines. <coughs> understand why. Charging ports, max spots, 10. And I've got... Uh, that was issue. I'm sure I turned that on. Yeah, personal robot ports was not turned on. Now it is. Okay. I'm very sure I had turned that on before. But okay. In power for this facility, we need to just yeah, and we need a few of these. We're gonna take create seven of these. Uh, let's try and copy. Seem to cut. 
cuts. Items we bring along. We're also going to remember to bring in fluids. It's lubricant. So let's get that in. You coming in, and we're going to have to take. This that's let's copy that along so we can get that in there. range of these was a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, and you are right here. I've run out. But, well, I don't know what they're busy with. 52 other tasks. Okay, so that will get fluids up. So now we are working our way slowly up our factory. So the next thing we now need to do is we need to convert the engines into electric work. And so we're Things I need to do is split the track here. But I need to filter it. Circuits. We have to double, double filter it because if I split it here then with gr filter the green circuits out, then nothing will go along that route, and I do need it going that way. Yeah. That ends over there. And this one's going to keep coming along up. Because our very next facility, right here, is going to be the other engine. So you see, so this one is going to feed off here. It needs both those items and the fluid. Okay, so... Let's get that up. So we want a second one of these... There, this way. And that's just going to receive the lubricant, and this will need to spit out onto this track here. And we're going to need seven of these structures as well. So the things we're missing, we need to put a power pole in. Gonna copy that whole thing. So that is four, six, and that needs to be one. In oh. 
that. But my robots are busy. <laughs> okay. They desperately need to catch up. So once we are we have created these, that's the end of that line. Now we can make the next thing. Yeah, and this is the frames. Okay. Wing of the frames out over there, and you're going to be taking in multiple ingredients from here. Okay, and there. Okay, and let's make a copy of all of those. The key things we need to make sure we do do is we need to switch it over here onto the outer track. Okay, well that is all technically constructed. We need to go pick up resources and also just figure out why we should be how many bots do we have in total? 500 construction bots. We're not doing a lot. Uh, we can check our map logistics network. Okay, we're not covered at the top here. Looks like our solar power is all complete. So we just need to expand our network, especially the construction bots over there. taking stuff away from me. Don't have factories. Let me take a stretch of factories. So these are, are running out quite badly. Um, I can do is do an output priority on these to make sure that plates get up there. You can see we are, are running low on things everywhere for the circuits. Okay, so I needed to grab some of these guys. Red circuits is also under extreme restriction. And so that is most likely just due to a lack of production capacity. So what I'm going to do here is so we've got the bots, so let the bots do the work.
that. There we go. So you are being placed there. Okay, except this this line is going to come and dump on this side, and then it will balance out there. So we need to bring in, what are we bringing in? Plastic and green circuits. This is going to just really, <laughs> really make a hammer on our green circuit production here. Okay, and plastic, we need to come. Yeah. Plastics. Yeah, this will definitely increase our red production as long as we can handle the green. Let's go get this yellow circuits up and running. There's one key ingredient we're missing on yellow circuits, which is right here. And this is going to be a problem. We need to shift you over. Circuits coming in. And we need to put these items in store. Okay, this is plastics and steel. So let's copy that. Power pole. Yeah, so plastics. And steel on here. Steel in there. We're going to have half a lot. Let's just split it in half. Plastics are coming up, and you are going, there we go, half and half. And then we need to bring on here, this is going to be copper. And we need to prepare for the future as well, because there will be two copper lines coming up. So let's try something like this. So you're going to come in there. And over here we need to skip uh, and skip. Yeah, so two full copper lines coming in. That one just yet. Yeah, so we're making our frames. Not getting lubricants because I've built the whole thing in the wrong place. That whole line is in the wrong place. Yeah, we are producing engines. These are taking the engines and now producing the frames. And 
these ones are being created. You'll see we are completely running out of copper as we get closer to the top here. Uh, so we do need to bring in this second line. That is... Uh, we had to wait. I can't actually bring it in until we have blue... Blue underground. Okay, so our next project is going to have to be our blue circuits. Because we need them on this line here for the yellow. So blue circuits is really relatively uh, simple, yet very, very hungry circuit to produce. So if we go here, blue, it just requires green, red, and sulfuric acid. But look at that, 20 to 2. So we need a lot of circuitry here. Okay, so what's going to come along here is what I'm going to do is bring in a full line of green. And then another line, which is half red, half green. So we want to do a full extraction of green. So we want basically a belt, um, no, an inserter per ingredient, um, just to accelerate how fast this is going to take items. Okay, and then we need to bring in sulfuric acid. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Power that whole thing up. And I'm going to just dump a lot in there. And we need a replica of this whole thing. Basically to something like this. That's it's got belts. Those belts are going that way, and we're going to have a belt coming out. It's like that. That is our, or will be our blue circuits. So now we can replicate this as much as we want. So I don't want to make... Let's just do a set of six for now. And the other thing we needed to do is we are short on a construction zone here. Uh, we want this connected. So let's put that there and give it some power. System. And blue circuits are going to be coming out. Red, green, red, green. We need to get the fluid up. Yeah, so the fluid we want is sulfuric acid. Uh, no, no, that needs to be one of those. And, and let's now flood the system with the lack of circuits. <laughs> okay, so we're doing full green over here. We are full green, and then we need to do half green. So uh, let's put it down here.
crazy. So you're gonna go over. Get the stuff in there. So this is gonna reverse. Red circuits are going to be drawn in. Red circuits, you're going to come in this way. moment we have we're going to be eating through these red circuits like you cannot believe for our startup base this this should be sufficient okay and upgrade plan all the yellows to reds that to let my bots handle it oh and don't tell me we've done this one on the wrong side okay okay no. I need to change all of that oh whoa, whoa. Well, you are slightly in the wrong place. There. Over. And you're going to come in wrong. that tech to not move on the belts. Okay, get you up. I can't have run out, so I picked up what I took off. That's... It's only okay. So I'm just going to get rid of all this excess reds on hand. Yeah, just going to put reds down here, and that will function our first blue ones. And let's get the blue down onto the belt, onto the bus. to be it's actually this line here that in theory is supposed to be blue this is our blue line yeah it needs to be all all turned around that one except when we get to here so this is 
that. And we're going to put a splitter there. So that is blue circuits coming into our bus. The first place that needs blue circuits is up here. This one here. You will be moving that way. This is our first one. Well, not first one, but this is going the wrong way around to normal. Okay, so blue chips. And we're definitely going to prioritize, sorry, not, prioritize blue chips up here. We're making, we are... Boards in Yeah, our research is going. Definitely need the bot speed to get these guys to function faster. We grab resources. What are they carrying plates for? Unless they're taking it now, they're taking it out of our inventory. Either everything's come to a halt because of these wanting the green chests, and I'm not actually manufacturing them yet because we need yellow. So that is our next priority, so I'm just going to put it on there. Yeah, those storage chests are filling up like crazy. Definitely need yellow coming along here as soon as possible. Let's have a look at the stuff we're missing. We need over here. Get these blue circuits going on the bus. Batteries, batteries seem to be struggling a little bit. We need, to, we need to check everything. Uh, battery, batteries are struggling. It could be an indication of a power problem, now. Yeah, that's still going strong. Steel? Are we struggling with steel? We are. Yeah, there come our blue chips. And we'll soon have our first yellow sciences. They're going extremely slowly. It's because they're based on purple, and purple's also coming very slow. Max rails. Okay. Rails need steel pipes. Okay, there, hey, we're getting distracted. Here comes our first yellow sciences, guys. That's awesome. So, our facility is there, is running. So, now we need to focus on, I mean, on our next science is space science, but we need to seriously concentrate now on our production of all our bus materials. Because we are running short. I mean, copper, copper's running thin. Green circuits are running thin. Steel and batteries are running thin. Everything is running thin. Look at these greens. We 
need to start filling out these lines here. This, these empty segments we put in here because these are actually dedicated for the green circuit array. I just want to come have a look at our liquids here and see how we're doing on all of them. And on. We've got everything. Doesn't look like we're producing enough here though. Sulfur seems to be a problem. We're not actually producing enough sulfur to get enough acids because these guys are not working. Anything I can think of is somehow I got my ratio wrong. So let's let's expand this. So we're going to put we're moving. Same thing we've done here, so let's just take that out. So in anyway, just so we've got the fluids pumping there. And now we're going to remove these guys. Careful here, yeah, this is all coming out. All of this is coming out. I guess we're going to make a duplicate of this here. I can't shift up. That whole thing, yeah, we'll have to move it. That. <clears throat> Water's flowing. That. Okay, water, you're coming along. Petroleum, you're going to as far as that. Yeah, that will increase. Do we have adequate coverage? No, we don't. We have terrible coverage down here of a bot network. Right, so let's see what we can do about it. Is that actually reaching? It is. Yeah, cover this whole facility with drones. Need them, but that yeah, drone network is covering our oils. Oh yeah, so as all this stuff falls out, we should get a pickup on the battery production. 
considering we're producing a lot more sulfur to a lot more sulfuric acid. How well this is coping. We're only feeding the first two machines. Produces if needs five sulfur. So if I'm running two, I need ten sulfur every second. And this is producing two every one second. I need five of those facilities. Five of these to one of these. I definitely got my ratios way out. Let's fix that. We're going to have to take off a lot more here. Especially if I've got, if I'm making two of these things, uh, I'm going to need a lot of these sulfur. I'm going to start with, let's just make six of them. So that's fine. And that way. Uh, let's get rid of that system. Yep, turn here. Three on one side, three on the other side. Okay, lack of power, we can fix that. Water, well, have I got an issue with water? It's this issue here. Yeah. This way. Okay, well. Okay, that'll make a dent, we'll fix that up. But in the meantime, that is enough. Okay, our other issue we're having is steel. We do not have enough steel production. If I have a look here, we are struggling with ore. Not getting enough ore in, and looks like we're struggling here with copper. So at the moment, ore is being fed through the top. We need to make a change to that. It's going to come all the way from here. So if we look at our, our rail the only, and our map, the only thing we're doing is bringing in coal. And we now need to start expanding this. We now need to find a copper outpost and a ore outpost to start bringing in more resources. Uh, one thing we can do is sort out this patch and that patch is going to be dedicated into green circuits. Um, so let's go do that. That will instantly assist with the volumes here as well. But we're definitely going to have a problem with our copper. All these lines are being emptied, which is affecting here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we need to make a copy of this setup. Uh, just copy one range. Just 
Fuck that. Yeah. We gotta bring in an ore from the top of the map. Okay. Yeah, iron ore. Just get rid of some of these. That's gonna come down and it's actually gonna come in over there. Yeah. That will start doing its thing. And we're gonna get the production right from here. We're gonna jump into our blueprint books and just grab our little blueprints and we're gonna figure out where to start. So we're gonna go from here. And also make use of the larger one. Wastage on that. Drag this. Yeah, so the bots can fill that out. I'll know. For sure, I will have to. Um, let's just turn this off. I will have to put a bot network out in this area. That. Extra. Yeah. It by. That can all go. The efficient, so we're not wasting underground, we're not wasting power poles and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, and now for mathematics wise, you can fit, I think it's 90 miners per blue belt. So we are going to prep for that. And let's see there. So all four of those outer lines can be joined together. And let's see. And those three ones can be joined together. Uh, considering we're only using two inputs, I'm going to merge all four of those. Uh, three of those, four of these, and we'll split the center one here. Oh no, are you kidding? Have I built this whole thing upside down? These belts are all the wrong way around. Okay, okay. Uh, that's a bit of a disaster. So let's. I'm going to create a destruction planner. And I want to destroy only those things. From the blueprints, I'll have to manually put them in. That one out. Oh no, no. Yeah, I can only drag it in once everything is built out. Actually, no, these are just my bots doing their thing. Yeah, 
get one in that does cover that whole system and we said we were joining four one two three four this will all be together so i'm going to take power down this way Hopefully, uh, you see, we made a mess here with. I'm gonna have to take out that pole there. Get everything to work still. Thank you, bots. So, that's all the poles are in. Uh, can start, so I'm going to start with the side. And place all of the stuff manually in. Using the smart so-called smart uh, belt that will automatically put the <clears throat> tunnels in for me. Supplement our green circuits. Complete. Yeah. This way. No, oh, yeah, too hard. And actually, underneath that mana. There. So that is one, two, three, and join to four. Okay, let's figure out where these lines are. So there's the one, so we'll move that, and there is the other. To actually this change this. Down. Yeah, that's U4 coming in. And these three. Yeah, now we did say we were going to split this guy. To the two roots. So the way I'm going to do that is this way. And now we want to set priorities. So input from the right. So it must take from there. This way, the mine uh, works itself from outside in to inside. Okay, prioritize taking from there. Here's going to be the opposite. Prioritize from the outside. 
prioritize from there. You'll see it's going to stop. And then this one, same thing. Take from there first, and it will take from this guy last. Let's see how all this is going and what's happening. What is happening here? We have a cliff. Yeah. Well, that's going to cause a bit of a spanner in the works. Okay, we'll have to go over you there. There. Yeah, and that'll be until we can get rid of that cliff. So now we need to get hook this up. Yeah, so I'm gonna take out. So you are gonna come all this way and go into there. And this one's gonna go all this way. You are eating. So there. Right. Yeah, so now we're going to have feeds from here and from the circuit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, tell it to input, input from here first. So while production is low or not at, at maximum, it will take from here and the ex excess can move on. But once we have ramped up green circuits to maximum, it's going to take from there and here. Okay, it looks like we managed to finish our logistics. Um, that is fantastic news. So bot speed, please. Okay, so what I want to do is just drop down the blueprint again for our mall. So the new building. So this is the key one here. This green. There's so many of our facilities need this green to be in the buffer chest and then it will actually start helping build out all these arrays that are missing it did you just take it all from me you I would like to keep a stock of this on my person so, so I keep 50 on hand same with the blue I want always on hand. Thank you very much. And this means, there we go, bots will start be able to start filling up directly from here. Fine. Uh, need some more. Make them faster. Can I make them myself? No, I'm missing... And we have some contamination, looks like, to sort out. All contaminated. That's all. Okay, but that doesn't mean I can make a couple of those. I want to get these populated with it. Yes, they have been. Good. We do need blue chips all the way over here. Oops, you are this guy here. Doubt I've got excess blue chips. We have drastically run over time. 
Let's just finish getting these blue chips on its way to our mall. And then we will take a break. And so here we go. And unfortunately I have told it to prioritize, so maybe maybe we can take that priority off for now. Let's let it split out. Um, production is struggling with the lack of red circuits. Let's just go have a run and have a look at red circuits. Definitely got a nice row of yellow going. Red circuits is non existent. People, it is non existent because it needs copper, which it's not getting. So let's just do that. At least it will get some copper. Copper is non existent. Why? Is it is being fully eaten by our green circuit array. So that is where we're going to leave out today's episode. Um, we will come, when we come back, we need to, again, have a look at why this one's not working. And we need to work on our rails to get the, the increase in resources in to feed our starved factories. Thank you for joining me on this episode. And please like and subscribe to stay in touch. And we'll see you in the next one.